Courtney and Brent from Grey House Studio and first we just want to thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback that we've gotten from our nursery. One of the questions that we receive quite often is where we got this rocking chair. We made it. We made the rocking chair. We made it. Um, we and can, it can hold both of us. This is not our <laughs> newborn. As, as, even if it might look like it. <laughs> and my leg is slowly crushing. Anyway. Um, we purchased the chair from Target and took off the legs and then Brent built this really cool rocking base. And we'll show you how. To start the rocking chair build I cut a 38 inch radius out of some scrap wood to see if it would rock or fall over or what would happen when I sat in it and thankfully it didn't fall over and the 38 inch radius was spot on. I used select pine 2x2's to cut the legs and match the same angle of the existing legs on the chair and after cutting the four legs I cut 1x3 inch boards to connect the four legs together. This made a skirt all the way around the bottom of the upholstered chair. Then I drilled two pocket holes in both sides of each 1x3 cut at the same angle to match the legs. I used one and a half inch pocket hole screws to attach the 1x3 inch boards flush to the outside of the legs, double checking that all the pocket holes face inside the chair when I attach them to the legs. Before going through the trouble of trying to cut two exactly the same rocker runners, I cut a radius out of a sheet of masonite to use as a template and traced that radius using a homemade compass. The compass was made by drilling two holes in a scrap piece of aluminum. The hole at the top of the aluminum rotates around a screw screwed into a board and is just held down by some spare paint cans. At the bottom I have two more holes, one at 38 inches and one at 36 inches and each hole allows me to poke the tip of a pencil through it and trace the radius, making a rocker runner that's two inches tall. I use a chair base to measure how long to make the rocker runners so they would end flush to the fronts and backs of the legs. Then I used a jigsaw to cut out the template and double check that the template matched both sets of legs. I cut the rockers out of two 1x6 boards laminated together with some wood glue. After using the template to trace the outline of the rocker runners on the 6 inch board, I cut it out using a jigsaw. In the top of the skirt that attaches the legs together, I drilled four pocket holes that will eventually allow me to tie the base into the bottom of the chair where there's wood lining each side of the chair and connect it all together using pocket hole screws. Once cut out, I drilled countersink holes in the bottom of the rockers over the legs and attached the rockers to the legs using wood glue and two and a half inch screws. We never liked the yellow color of the original legs, so to avoid that we're using a water white acrylic lacquer and won't affect the color of the wood because it doesn't contain any oil. With the base dry I removed the four legs off the upholstered chair and attached the base using two and a half inch pocket hole screws double checking that each screw was over the wood substructure of the chair. If you enjoyed this DIY rocking chair base build, be sure to click the like button below to let us know. And as always, subscribe to the Greyhouse Studio YouTube channel for more videos like this. Check out StudioGreyhouse.com for additional projects and instructions on this project and more projects like it.